大家好,我是康云 Hey guys, it's Kangyun. Welcome back to Demon Souls. And so, in my last episode, you saw that I had left off failing to get back to the Adjudicator after dying to him, attempting to fight him without dropping down and attacking his sword. Um, so, for this episode, I think uh, it's going to be a short one, I hope. I'm just going to attempt maybe once more or twice more. We'll see. How long. Hopefully, I can get him on this try. I don't believe he has too many different attacks when you're above. He tends to only do one or two different things. Swipe his sword, and he can st stick out his tongue. But, um... Yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes, or how this goes, and hopefully I get it on this try. We're gonna put on the ring, the Eternal Warrior's ring, for more stamina regen. He will pretty much one-shot me with any of his moves, but I'm gonna cast this anyways. For the fun of it. And let's try this again. see what he does and unfortunately he did hit me I have to be a little bit more careful I was being a little too risky in shooting when I probably shouldn't have been so we're gonna try it one more time and We're gonna try this hopefully one more time and hopefully we can get him. I might actually go rats mode. Because the only trouble is I'm not sure how I could get into rat mode safely without dying. But that would make things a heck of a lot easier. That would make things a heck of a lot easier. I don't know why I ran up there like that. I should have waited. They just hit you so fast. It's like you can't even barely get a hit in before they're attacking you.
like, <laughs> right there, I was swinging, and within between two of my hits, he was able to roll forward and almost kill me. I'll be honest, I'm not used to dying to Adjudicator, that's a boss I can't remember the last time that boss actually killed me, because it's such an easy boss when you fight him like that, or like uh, the way that I'm used to fighting him where, he's on the, where you're on the ground, he only has one attack, and I know how to dodge it, not that this one, not that it's hard to dodge this attack, I'm just not used to it, I guess. Because I never I never really play ranged builds. really play ranged builds, so... I'm wondering if I don't... Can I... That will put me in rats mode, almost. Try to get hit by one of those things again. Can I take fall damage from somewhere? I wonder. Maybe one of the maybe. shoot at me. Now hopefully... That did not work. This thing regenerates my health so fast. No, wrong. Oh my god. Wow. We're just not gonna bother with hyper mode. We're not gonna bother. We don't need hyper mode. We just have to be able to dodge him a few times. And plug him full of arrows. Come on. swing faster than him, I guess. We are not having a good time getting through here.
Oh my god. I need to get my stamina back, but it's like they attack so fast, I have to be so aggressive. And you can't run past these enemies because they'll just roll after you and they damage you with their roll attack. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Getting some holy arrows from that archer. Yeah, we're not gonna use. We're not gonna use the. Uh, the rat's ring because. It's too hard for me to get into hyper mode without dying. Oh my god. Let's not die to the black katana skeleton and we'll, we should finally get another attempt. They don't have a ton of HP, they just have a lot of defense, these guys. Okay. You can't stand there. I really kind of wish I had done this in the new game. So you can't stand on the edges because he breaks those. I, I guess what we learned there. You have to stand. You can't stand on the far edges. Oh. 
Okay, we're just gonna... Run. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you run for it. When you just run for it, you just get mowed down by them. You cannot... You cannot run from these enemies. This isn't that hard, I'm just getting tired and frustrated, I should probably just stop, take a break, but I'm, I know I can beat this boss, it's just, getting back to him is a pain. I don't know why I'm trying to kill that archer all of a sudden. I don't usually do that. I don't even need to pick up the stone. I'm not gonna use it. the mirrored and hammer. I don't know why I wasn't using that before. The mace is good, but oh, this hammer, because it has that range. And it's got that quick R1. Yeah, that is quick, dude. That R1 comes out so nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Now if we can make this jump, or this roll, you can't jump in Demon Souls. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mind that you can't jump, because honestly the jump mechanic, while it was interesting in some cases in Dark Souls, more often than not it was <laughs> kind of frustrating because you would jump on accident. I have to kill this guy. It's because I want to change out my equipment here. So I can't stand. For one, it's it's kind of strange that I I'm not used to the boss room being reversed. <laughs> And two, I'm not used to fighting him like this.
Dude, using a bow doesn't use your stamina in this game. wasn't that bad. Sweet. Got the trophy. Woo! That was, that was getting a little frustrating, guys, I gotta be honest. But we finally did it. And we got a lot of souls for it. I didn't put on the Ring of Avarice, but I don't mind. I'm not... I'm not, uh... Starved for souls. I'm pretty low level still. Alright, and I can make the butcher's knife now because I already have replenishment, obviously. Whew. Oh man, I'm glad. I'm glad we took that out and we got that trophy. We're chipping away. We're almost. We'll get to. We'll get that platinum trophy, and we'll level up. I'm gonna. That's how many. How many souls? Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Do I need to get to level eight, the 18 decks? Yeah, we can do it. Oh, we got soul so many souls. Thirty-seven. We can get. We can get that ten. We can get that ten magic. I'll hold off on that for now. Um. I think I'll just get the decks for the for the time being. Art thou finished? May thy strength help the world be mended. Cool. So this should have also... 243, yeah, it gave me my max damage my bow will do with heavy arrows. Alright, guys. And we can finally use the Isterel. I'll show you guys that, that cool spear. Um, deposit all these stones. Need these holy arrows. I don't need another ring of rejuvenation. I want to get the uh, Isterel. And then we can make this world pure black. We can make Trina Storms pure black and get another colorless demon soul. We are indebted to you. But you fight on our behalf. Let's repair our gear. I can forge weapons. Do come back alive. Yeah, Shrine of Storms, still neutral. I did die in there in human form, so. But that's not a big deal. I want it to be pure black, anyways. So I'll show you the spear. It's only plus two right now. But, yeah, this is the Ysterel. Really cool spear, if, if you ask me. It's short, it doesn't have that as good a range, but still it's a spear. And you notice the icon underneath my stamina bar with the hearts. And it gives me, now, if I take off... If I take off, um... If I just take off... You can see the aura that it gives me. It gives my character this sort of aura. You see that? If I unequip it, my poison and plague resistance is 75 and 18 
And when I equip this, it becomes 209 and 75. And that's the only at plus two when I get it to plus. Yeah, and if I were to equip a poison resistance ring, it goes up to 738. That is really nice. And if you have uh, the spear all the way to plus five, I think it's over a thousand. Like, you can just go through the swamp for a good deal of time and not get poisoned. Um, if you care about that. And, and I think if you equip the thief's armor or, or the uh, black leather armor, a black leather black leather garb, whatever it's called, that has really high poison resist, you just basically almost immune to poison. I mean, you you can still obviously get poisoned if you wait long enough, but for all practical purposes. You'll be immune. Um, <laughs> we'll put that on for fun. Yeah. This is the Isabel Spear, guys. It's like made of wood, and there's some metal accents in it, which I guess is how they made it in this game. The one-handed moveset, basic spear thrusts, and then the R2 is a, is a... The R2s and the spears in this game are great. They're a lunge forward. So it's deceptively long range, and then the the R1 quick quick th stabs, quick quick thrust, and then the R2 is a yeah, that's an awesome awesome attack because it ha it, that's the the R2 is the lunge forward, and then if you follow it up with another R2, you do a a second jab. takes a lot of stamina but it's it's really nice so I'm gonna um the spear at 196 is pretty weak right now because it's not fully upgraded but uh, if you see here it scales s in faith D in strength and e or D in dex and e in faith or strength geez if can you tell I'm tired <laughs> So yeah, um, looking forward to getting this fully upgraded and we'll have another weapon in our arsenal. And then I should probably start leveling up my vitality and my endurance because getting some more survivability will be nice. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for enduring it with me. I know that was kind of a frustrating episode at times but I wanted to get this boss and I'm glad we we persevered and stuck with it and finally got it so please leave a comment if you would if you have anything you'd like to add like and subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you in the next one guys Mombasa. <laughs>